What is up, obscure Mike people? Bark coming at you yet again. I admittedly have not been recording a whole lot. Life has been coming at me, man. It's been really coming at me. I plan to remedy that. Today, we are going to take a look at the Ceremonic MV Mixer, which is a little audio interface. Not so little, but it'll run you 99 bucks. Ceremonic did send this over for the sake of this review. They have no uh, input on what I say about it, yada, yada, yada. They sent it over. They're really cool about criticism if I have any, and they just keep sending products over for review, even if I slam them, which is great, like Fifine and other companies. I mean, sure, that like nobody influences what I have to say. And when companies take that criticism and try to improve rather than cut you off, it is appreciated. That doesn't mean I'm going to criticize this. I didn't come into this thinking like, yeah, we're going to slam Ceremonic today, son. No, that's not what we're going to do. But what we are going to do is we're going to open the, I'm, I guess it might be what we do. Maybe this thing sucks. I doubt it. It, it looks solid. Ceremonic typically puts out solid product. Let's open it up and I'll quit rambling with my word salad. And here's the Ceremonic MV Mixer dual channel audio interface for singers, musicians, podcasts, producers, and more. Dun, 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 I know you guys love when I sing little ditties. Ooh, not to be confused with P. Diddy. Uh, here is a USB A to C cable with a Ceremonic tie. Ceremonic always goes with the, uh, is that gold? No, it's not gold. I thought I was going to say they go with the golden touch, but they didn't on this one. Hey, they also sent over. Wow, look at that. There's a couple of uh, headphone adapters from 3.5 to quarter inch. Not sure why there's two or what that's all about. And yes, this is like, I don't know if it's the first time I've opened it. It's the first time I've opened this stuff. This I think I've unwrapped, but let's take it out. That's what she said. Ha 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 ha. And there's the ceremonic documentation. I'm not sure if this is 2448. I want to, I want to pretend and hope that it is. Let's open the documentation just to know you get some stickers. Love them. Yeah. 24 bit. Oh, 24 bit, 24 bit, 192. So that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. You get some pretty top notch audio quality out of this thing. Let, you, let me tell you. Don't know why I'm doing this. Apparently I needed to record because it's been a while. Ceremonic. Okay, let's let's first talk about what's good. Immediately, the heft. It is pretty solid. It feels good. Rubber feet on the bottom. Doesn't feel cheap. Doesn't sound really overly cheap metal wise. Feels nice. Well, look at that. Lays right on the back like that. We got a couple of combo jacks here. Line instrument buttons. Those feel good. A little tactile rubbery. Got some knobs here with a little bit of play in them. The turn has some resistance. That's good. Nice. We got a uh, line instrument button for gain two. Gain two. That's kind of weird. Gain two. Uh, 48 volts, 48 volts. It looks like you got a press button. So we got individual 48 volts, which I love. If that's the case, I think it is. We got a toggle between input and playback. So, yep, there. We got a headphone jack, monitor button with no give. That's solid. This feels good. And then we've got the MV mixer right here. So we can mix. Oh, that's for the headphone volume. Good Lord. That's just the name. What's wrong with me? I'm out of practice it's been too long on the back we got a usb c port and a set of outputs for studio monitors nothing else though so you know you're not gonna run any sound into this or anything like that this this is nice though it's rounded it's kind of like i don't know that's a nice unit that's what she said i'm kind of impressed with the build quality i just i really like it Let's hook it up. Okay, I haven't plugged anything into it yet, but I just wanted to show you, like we've got this nice green glow here 
And if you'll notice, I've got one combo jack here with a white light around it and one without. And that is because you hold in the phantom power button here. Boom. Phantom power indicated by an LED light around the combo jack. That is snazzy. And that's extra. That is so extra. Yeah. I'm using the TC Helicon Go XLR, I believe, Mike. Kind of like this thing. I snagged it on eBay for 50 bucks. I like the aesthetic. I like the size. That's all she said. I like everything about it. And it takes a, a decent amount of gain to, to push. I got an SM58 here, too. I'm not going to break out the SM7B tonight because I think we can get a good idea of what this can do without it. But we got it plugged in. We got it glowing all the way around. We probably need to turn off one of these. I like that. Let's hook it up all the way. Let's go all the way. Barking. All right. Now we have the Ceramonic MV mixer hooked up, ready to go. The sound coming out of the interface is fine. It's good. Like I said, it's built well. We're going to be short and sweet here though. Like even though it's built well, we got cool LEDs. We got individual phantom power. The mic preamp is uh, pushing the SM58 just fine. It does have a stepping issue, so I'm going to enable that right now. When you go from that 9 to 10 range here, noise. The preamp noise gets a little crazy. It's not, not like horrible, but it's just not that good. And then when you dial it back to right before that stepping issue, you know, you get good levels. And you get a lack of noise, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the noise quiets down a lot. Problem is, I can barely hear myself in my headphones. Unless I get right on top of the microphone, I really can't hear myself at all. Like, really, not at all. That's a huge miss. Specs are good. Sound quality is good. But you might as well not have latency-free monitoring because you just can't hear the damn thing. And that is super disappointing to me because I would like to hear how good this sounds. And I can't unless I hit that stepping issue. I hit the stepping issue that I'm on now, introduce that noise, I can hear myself in the headphones now. It's almost like the headphones don't kick in quite enough until the stepping issue. And I'm talking quietly because as you can see here, this thing says that I'm clipping. Sadly, I just can't really recommend this thing because of, you know, a, a true audio interface. You should have a good headphone preamp. You should not have a noisy 9 to 10 spot on the dial. Besides that, it's got everything going for it out of a basic on-the-desk interface. Oh, well. I guess I'll BB sorry and give it a 4 and say it's possibly worth buying for used or cheap. Um, possibly. The possibilities are minimal. The fact that you can't hear yourself talking unless you crank it up. And I tried it with a condenser mic as well. When you hear it in here, it's clipping on there. So... Mm, not really doing us much good. Sorry, Saramonic. Thanks for sending it over. I appreciate it. Um, but the first stab at an interface in a while, at least, that I've seen out of them, a desk interface, didn't quite go as planned. That's all I got, because there's really nothing more to say. Obscure mics. Peace out.